Justin, what did you make of Friday? Uh, I was happy with the start, happy with the first quarter. Thought we bounced out of the blocks. Thought it looked like the, the sort of footy we wanted to play. And then, um, yeah, Adelaide picked up their tempo, I thought, especially around the ball with their pressure and, and their contest. And, um, you know, we maybe got a little bit comfortable with where we were sitting and the way we are playing. And, um, yeah, we battled it out after that. Like, it's, yeah, it showed we've still got a fair bit of work to do. So... Is it as far as saying it's an early wake-up call or anything like that? Oh, nah, I, I wouldn't go that far. Like, it's it's one game. Um, done a you know, really impressive body of work. Um, and, yeah, for whatever reason, after that first quarter, we're just flat. So, um, I use these pre-season games to give you a reflection of where you're at. And, um, yeah, we've got a bit of work to do. Um, but we've still got plenty of time before, um, yeah, we, we're playing for four points. So, yeah. We'll um, have a good week on the track and, um, you know, try and improve on a few things that we've been working on over the pre-season um, this week against Port. And, yeah, it'll give us a good indication of what we need to work on in those two weeks leading up to round one. How many more players are you likely to welcome back to, to this week? You should have um, Chapman, Ryan, Oakley School. Um, probably not Fred and Walters. Uh, yes. Um, so Chappie will hopefully play. He has to get through training. Um, uh, Luke Ryan will, will miss again. Um, uh, hopefully it's nothing – no, well, I know it's not much serious, but, um, yeah, it's, it's just a little bit of a tricky one with um, yeah, his back injury. Um, so we'll just give him another week off, given it's a six-day break, and it happened later in the week last week. Um, and Drizzle will play. Yeah, so there's a pretty quick turnaround from that hot spot, which is good news. Um, we'll just have to work out game time and, and what level. What's wrong with Heath? Is his shoulder again? Or? Who's that? Uh, Heath Chapman? Uh, no, it's it's lower limb. Like it's just, yeah, he had a bit of a tightness in his hemi. So, um, yeah, it's one of those things where it sort of came on later in the week and, yeah, you just no risk policy. So, um, yeah, hopefully he gets through training and should be fine. How did you see that far? Yeah, I thought he got better as the game went on. And, um, yeah, so, uh, not only did he yeah, get on the end of a few opportunities, he created a number of opportunities and felt like, um, yeah, he just got more and more confident in his game as a, as a, as the game went on. So, yeah, he got his, a bit of his old mojo back. It was good. How did you see the split between um, Jackson and Darcy? Obviously, Darcy did a lot of work. Is that similar to what we see? Come yeah, yeah, yeah. More than likely, um, you know, it was a little bit horses for courses. Um, you know, obviously Adelaide rucks are, are quite you know big, especially um, their their starting rucks, and it's a good matchup for for Sean. Um, so it's a bit horses for courses. Um, and I thought Luke showed enough down forward, you know, that he's going to be a good option for us down there. So um, yeah, it'll probably be a team by team, week by week proposition. But um, yeah, I was pretty happy with the first steps they took. You spoke in this preseason about making an effort to sort of come out of the gates firing and improve your, your starts, but now it's gone flat after yeah. the day. What's well, no, it going to be to getting that balance right? Yeah, it's, it's one it's one game. So I haven't seen that flatness across any of our intra clubs preseason. So, um, yeah, but you're right. We, we want to start well, but we want to maintain that. <laughs> so we, we need to make sure that we keep the energy up across the whole game, but I'm not going to panic off the back of one game. What can we expect this week, I guess, in tightening up rotations to be closer to what round one will be? <clears throat> uh, yeah, to some degree. Um, you know, obviously there's, there's still spots on the line because we hope, you know, a few of those guys that won't play this week will, will come into the round one team. Um, yeah, and we'll see a lift in game time. Like, um, yeah, the the game time on the weekend was, was a little bit lower than, um, than some of our intra clubs. So, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll pick up the game time a bit this week. Um, players will, you know, play more like a, a round one, um, yeah, game time, and that'll see the game probably look a little bit more like a round one game where where it opens up, um, fatigue sets in, which probably didn't see a lot of that on the weekend. Um, so, yeah, we'll probably go back to just having the four on the bench rather than the the, the five or six. Um, yeah, so it'll look it'll a little bit more like a round one game. Did you get out unscathed? Uh, yeah, to, um, yeah. Luke Jackson got a got a knock in a contest, and um, yeah, had a bit of delayed 
delayed headaches from that. So we'll, we'll rule him out this week. Um, there's yeah, no risk policy around head knocks. Um, so we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll not play him this week. And um, yeah, but he should be right come round one. Yeah, there's a few corkies um, and a few sore boys at the end of the game, but nothing that'll hold them back from training today. Is it watching the game? It was, you must be pleased with the, the flashes that the team showed, but obviously having that fast start, now to continue that on, must be a little bit frustrating. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, uh, I, I thought we competed pretty well all day, and our intent and effort was there. We just didn't play with the method we'd like, so. Um, yeah, we'll have a real focus on that today at training and, yeah, this week. Just one on Jaime's, you know, obviously Fremantle fans are very excited about what he can do, but I'm actually a little bit of wanting to temper that considering he's 19 years old and in his second season before. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, yeah, he's a 19-year-old trying to play as a key forward. It's going to take a little bit of time. I'm really happy with his development. Um, yeah, and um, more opportunities, you know, he gets, the better he'll be, but... Um, yeah, he, he's just got to you know, get fitter, get stronger, keep doing what he's been doing over the pre-season. And um, yeah, it's not so much a long-term project, but it, it takes time with young key forwards, especially when they're playing on quality, um, mature defenders. So um, yeah, we just need a little bit of patience with him. Um, yeah, but we're on the, on the flip side, we're happy with his development and he showed last year he can have an impact for us. So um, yeah. How many spots do you think there will be that tools up forward? Uh, we usually probably play, um, you know, three and four as a mix. Three tools, um, three smalls, uh, uh, four smalls. Um, yeah, and uh, the more Fifey, um, you know, develops his forward craft, the more he's going to become a, probably a hybrid between those two for us. Um, yeah, so, it, you know, we need to make sure we find the balance between being able to score and being able to lock the ball in. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, Luke out, that'll give us another look at our forward structure this week. Um, different, probably a little bit of a different mix down there. So we'll get a yeah, good, good idea with how that looks and it'll settle it down before round one. And how do you feel like the, the depth of the side is, you know, giving those guys a run in that second period of that um, simulation, I guess, compared to last year? <clears throat> um, yeah. Oh. We, we probably had a few more out than Adelaide. Adelaide are really healthy at the moment. I think they only had one injury and maybe lost one during the game. Um, so they probably had a little bit more depth um, just through number of AFL listed players um, playing. So, uh, yeah, we've, we've got a bit of work to do with, with some of our developing players in terms of getting them up to AFL standard, but we knew that when we, um, yeah, we, we put them on the list. Um, we'll be patient with them and keep pushing them along in the background to try and fast track their development. Um, but we probably had you know five or six guys out that were either in our best 24, 22 or um, you know best twenty five or six. So um, you know we'll get them back hopefully in the short term and that'll add to our depth. What's the latest with Frederick and Walters? Freddie, still... Freddie, yeah, both tracking really well. Um, yeah, Freddie yeah, hasn't missed a beat in his um, rehab. Sonny's, yeah, it's probably a little bit of a tricky injury with his Achilles. And um, yeah, he's tracking really well and we're still fingers crossed he'll be right for round one. Um, but yeah, we're, we're not gonna rush him. And um, we just need to make sure once he once he comes back, he, he's ready to um, yeah play out the whole season. So, um, but yeah, we're, we're hopeful both of them are right for round one. Do you feel like Ethan Hughes went a long way to some many minutes round one on Friday? Yeah, he played really well. He's probably um, our most consistent player across the first four quarters. Um, you know, we've been playing him on the wing a lot over the preseason, but with the injuries, we had to throw him back, and he played really well. So, um, you know, he's a real yeah team first player, and thought he handled himself really well.